Today in the news, we got an estimated price and a pretty fast CPU. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Before that, let me take a second to thank today's video sponsor, WhoKeys. WhoKeys is where you can buy keys like this one for Windows 10 Pro. Get yourself a license with that link down in the description and click buy now and enter the code BTS25 for 25% off. And then you just submit your order. And once you're through with your payment and you receive your key, go to your computer, click on the Windows button, type in activate and update or change your product key. It's that simple. Let's get started with Intel. Today, we're talking about Intel Arc GPUs. The current rumors are pretty vague. We got a lot of comparisons to the RTX 3070, with some saying that the highest end Arc GPU, or Arc Premium, as Intel calls it, would trade blows with an RTX 3080. With this card apparently requiring one eight pin and one six pin PCIe power cable, I would say that it might be right in between the two Nvidia GPUs, since the 3070 is at 220 watts and uh, the 3080 is at 320, I believe. In any case, that's not what the focus of today is. The focus is on the price. We might have an approximation of the costs of this GPU. Intel's scavenger hunt, which started back before the announcement of ARC GPUs, that scavenger hunt has a couple of prizes which consists of an Intel GPU and extra stuff bundled into that. And in the footnotes of the rules, well, they added the estimated retail value of the winnings. And since you can estimate the value of the rest of the bundle, you can estimate the value of the GPU itself. So let's do that. So there's two prize tiers that include the GPU. The first one is $900 USD. It would come with a premium Intel Arc GPU, Arc branded merch, and six months of Xbox Game Pass for PC. Now the Xbox service itself is fairly inexpensive at $10 US a month. So we're at $840 US if we subtract that. Then we have the merch bundle. We can't know for sure, but assuming the person gets a t-shirt and some extra gizmos like cups, pins, and a, a water bottle, we can assume the value to be close to about $100 USD. Merch is often more expensive when made in small quantities. At the cheapest, I'd say that the bundle is worth about $50. So for that premium card, we're looking at between $750 to $800. If we do the same calculations for the $700 performance ARC GPU bundle, uh, and this one comes with three months of Game Pass, then we're looking at $570 to $630 US. Is this accurate? Who knows, but I don't think it really is. I mean, manufacturers will usually blow up the value of things in a bundle. They can't really do that for things that have a defined value, like Game Pass for PC, but the bundle can definitely be inflated. As for the GPU prices, it can be changed moments before announcement, so that estimated price might be completely different later on. Heck, that could be changed after the announcement of the GPU and its pricing. I mean, that's exactly what happened with AMD and the 5000 series, right? The whole debated NVIDIA. My bet, after seeing Intel price their CPUs cheaper than AMD's, sorry, allegedly pricing them cheaper, I wouldn't be surprised if Intel placed their GPUs cheaper than whatever GPU they're competing against. I guess only time will tell. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. And then we obviously have some Alder Lake news. In the last couple of weeks, we talked about the i9-12900K, i7-12700K, and i5-12400. But one CPU we didn't mention, and that was the 12600K, the CPU that you're likely going to buy. And holy crap, it's fast. This CPU is apparently going to feature six performance cores and four efficient cores. So this model is a 10 core, 16 thread CPU. The efficient cores have a base clock of 2.8 gigahertz with a boost of 3.7. As for the performance cores, they apparently go from 3.6 all the way up to 4.9 gigahertz. So how does it stack up? Well, it's a weird CPU. If the leaks are correct, its competition is not the Ryzen 5800X because the 12600K would be priced cheaper. The leaks say that the 12700K is 469 and the 5800X is 449. So I'd say that these two are paired up. 
But at 10 cores, the 12600K is probably priced between the 5800X and the 5600X. Anyways, it doesn't really matter because it beats them both. At least it does so in the CPU-Z benchmark. The 12600K scores 746 points in single core, whereas the 5600X scores a meager 638 points. That's around 17% faster for Intel. But then the AMD part gets smacked in multi-core with a score of over 7,000 points for Intel. The 5600X at stock is around 4,900 points. So that's 45 plus percent faster for Intel. But what about the 5800X? Well, it's not as bad, but it still gets beat. In single core, we're looking at around 12.5% faster for Intel. And in multi-core, the 10 core 16 thread CPU edges out the eight core 16 thread 5800X. So yeah, we still have to wait for the pricing, but just the fact that the 12700K was leaked at 469.99 means that we're probably looking at around 379 for Intel's counterpart. Now, we're still talking about a synthetic benchmark, a single synthetic benchmark. Personally, I'm really excited to see all of the reviews pop up to see if it's truly a worthy processor. I still think that AMD will have the edge as soon as 3D vCache CPUs come out, but that's still some competition coming from Intel. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know down below. In any case, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video, right here to subscribe to the channel. And let me add this one so you can see me on Hardware Canucks. All right, stay frosty, my dudes. I'll see you on the next one.